Welcome back. Well, this is an exciting segment for you. The book Mozart in the Jungle is now a hit series on Amazon. It just got picked up for its second season. It has been a big hit. And the author of the book who inspired it all is now joining us this morning. Welcome, Blair Tyndall. Thank you so much for being here for this morning with us. Yeah, Thanks so much for you. having me. You came from Marina Del Rey. I did Angeles. indeed. Thanks for joining our community here. Thank you um, very much. First of all, we want to kind of get a little bit of uh, our viewers in touch with what this uh, series is about, Mozart in the Jungle. Can you, can you kind of set the premise for us? Sure. It's a uh, Sex, drugs, and classical music. It's all about <laughs> what happens behind the uh, behind the curtain, the nice. real lives of classical musicians. Wow. Great. And then you're an oboe player, correct? Is I that am indeed. Inspired so all of this? It's it's a memoir. Ah, so okay. this beautiful girl is playing me, and it's I'm I always win the cocktail party challenge. Who would play you in a movie? That is neat. <laughs> That's right? great. Now I, I want to read one of the reviews here of the, of the book and then of the show as well. It says this is the most candid and un and. Uh, unsparing account of orchestra life ever to be seen in print. It details both the petty corruptions of power, the cliques, the control, who plays in the orchestra and who doesn't, and the more sordid corruptions of flesh and cash. That sums it up. Pretty good. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's so interesting when we were reading about this is kind of a, you know, this is like the first true behind the scenes of like what goes on backstage of these, you know, this, the Broadway pit and, you know, the musicians. And, and you talk about how a lot of the musicians actually sometimes have to perform drunk, high, hungover. I mean, talk to us a little about the, the, the <laughs> climate, the environment. You know, it's so, well, so interesting. We don't, we don't get to see that side much. I think people just don't realize that we're real people. Right. And, you know, we have the same cross-section of society that anybody else does. Yeah. Uh, in general, orchestral players like the uh, Los Angeles Philharmonic, they, yeah. they can't play under those conditions. But right. when you're doing a Broadway show and you've done it for six years, yeah. which was my case, you can pretty much do it in any condition. Interesting. <laughs> so you're Autopilot so kicks in. <laughs> you're revealing that. That, <laughs> that sometimes it, it was a little difficult, you know, the environment behind what you guys were performing under. Uh, well, I mean, classical music performance is difficult yeah. under any circumstances. It's just such a, it requires so much training and such a high level of expertise. Yeah, that's right. So let's talk about the show a little bit. You're seeing the cover of the book right there. Uh, and the show, you talk about this beautiful girl who is playing, it's really your life. Yes. And how does this show, how does it start? And it's in its second season now, but how did it get going? How did you get first get this pitched to Amazon? Uh, well, Jason Schwartzman and I have, he's, uh, he is one of the Coppola family. Okay. He's the nephew of Francis sure. Ford. Uh -huh. We've had a deal since the book came out. He saw a review of the book and approached my agent, and we made a deal. So we've had the deal. We had an HBO deal that fell through in favor of Girls, okay. the HBO series, very similar. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Amazon popped up, so I had it had to be explained to me that Amazon is kind of the new wave of TV. Right. It's online TV, and uh, here we are. That's really neat, actually. I, like, I, that is the new wave of the TV. streaming People service. Yeah, it's there. very much like Netflix. If you're looking for this this show, you yeah. can go on to uh, onto Amazon and Amazon Prime, and you're able to watch it. And it's it's very entertaining. How long is it? It is ten episodes, okay. a half hour each. So you can sit down Great. and just binge watch it for five hours. It's up online for all time. Now, how, how is it writing the book and then seeing it play out in moving pictures? Well, the Coppolas, three of them are, two of them are involved, Roman Coppola and Jason Schwartzman. Mm -hmm. um, they're from a musical family, so yeah. I was so happy. I'm happy with everything that they did. You know, it's, of course, a little over-dramatized, sure. but course, it's yeah. entertainment. It's just not a Where documentary. Where do they shoot? Uh, in New York City, okay. all over. There's beautiful cinematography. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was shot at the State University of New York at Purchase. They have a great theater there. And where did your inspiration for music start? Where did that come from? Uh, I grew up partly in Vienna, Austria. Ah. And, uh, there you my go. parents took me to the opera. And okay. I, so. A huge culture there about yeah. music. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, this is uh, Mozart in the Jungle. Uh, there's an audio version, I guess, that's coming out as well. Um, and March 31st. And you can kind of get exactly. it. On Amazon, so make sure to check out the series. Blair, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Great to have you. Go and watch the show. It's yeah. on Amazon Prime. You can get it on there, stream it. It should be great. Exactly. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Sounds like an amazing series. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Great day. I love you. I love you. I love you.